When BunnyNet announced BunnyStream, their new hosting, transcoding, and streaming service for videos, a lot of you asked me, well, does this make Presto Player completely obsolete? Do I even need Presto Player? In this video, I want to look at what Presto Player does that BunnyStream does not, and whether or not you need to purchase Presto Player. So to help you make the decision on whether or not you need Presto Player, or if you can just get by with simply using BunnyStream and the player that they provide, I went ahead and made this blog post at Convology.com, and I'll go ahead and put the link in the description of this video for you to check it out if you're interested. So I break this down, right? So does BunnyStream replace Presto Player? And I think the question is really valid, right? Because when BunnyStream uh, came out, which is as of the time of this video, just this week, it provided a fantastic player. The player has all of the same features on the surface that Presto Player does. It has the ability to skip ahead 10 seconds or go back. It has the ability to choose how fast the uh, video is playing. It has just now the same thing with Presto Player, has the ability to choose which resolution you want to watch like you would use on, on YouTube. And essentially it uses the exact same hosting because Presto Player, in my opinion, requires or you should be using BunnyNet, that integration with Presto Player anyway. So I think there's an important distinction to be made here. Since Presto Player needs BunnyNet, or you should be using BunnyNet or BunnyStream now with Presto Player, we have to put a lot of those things in a vacuum, and we have to say that they're all equal, right? There's there's no transcoding fees. There's um, essentially no difference in the cost of hosting your videos. It's still going to be a couple cents per gigabyte to host them. It's still going to be a couple cents per gigabyte of bandwidth. So those things are all the same. We have to instead look at what are the features? And, and essentially it boils down to this question. Does Presto Player add anything that makes it worth getting in addition to, not instead of, BunnyStream? So what I did was I broke this down and I made a table. So here on Convology in the blog post that I made, you'll see that I took all of the features that I could think of off the top of my head and the ones that I thought mattered the most, and I put them into a table comparing does BunnyStream offer this? And does Presto Player offer this? And here's kind of what I came up with. So for video hosting, I just wanted to remind you that BunnyStream only plays videos from BunnyNet. And Presto Player should play videos from BunnyNet, um, but it also supports Vimeo and YouTube and self-hosted videos. So if those things matter to you, uh, if you're like me, if you're a creator and you want discoverability, you're probably going to still put your videos on YouTube. If you're hosting course videos and you just want to drop them in there, both would probably want to use BunnyNet. So now let's break down these additional options, these features that I looked at. So in terms of overlays, those are things like images, uh, buttons, links, things like that. BunnyStream doesn't support those. Presto Player lets you have an overlay that uh, it's a graphic you can put on your video before the person presses play. And as of the time I'm making this video, very soon they're going to add the ability to put uh, images, links, and buttons on top of the video, anywhere within the video. That's an awesome feature because that means you could use in a course, you could have a button to go take a quiz, you could have a button that links off to a resource that you're talking about in your video. Um, essentially, it's the ability to put anything on top of a video while it plays. That's a cool feature that BunnyStream does not have and Presto Player does. Advanced player controls. Uh, BunnyStream does have lots of uh, control customization. In my video, which I'll link somewhere up here and one of these little card things, um, my walkthrough, you'll see that you can customize the same things you can in Presto Player, right? Which is why I put yes on both of these. Basic controls like, like I mentioned in this video, the ability to jump back or head by 10 seconds, uh, changing your resolution, changing your playback speed, uh, player controls, whether you can see the progress on the video, those types of things, they both have it. Now, custom player presets though, that's a little bit different, right? In Presto Player, unlike uh, BunnyStream, you can customize what that player looks like for all of your videos and make changes to that preset, such as enable or disable muted autoplay or uh, change the watermark on all of them. And technically, technically you can do some of that like aggregate change to your BunnyNet videos on BunnyStream, uh, but only within the folder that you've selected, uh, whereas on Presto Player, they're custom presets. Now, muted autoplay is a feature that I love. Muted, muted autoplay is only available on Presto Player. I included this one, Thrive, uh, Thrive Apprentice support. Uh, Bunny 
player, Bunny Stream, has the ability to be used with Thrive Apprentice in a video lesson just by dropping in the uh, HTML embed code. If you want to use your videos with Presto Player, Thrive Apprentice, and perhaps this is more Thrive Apprentice's fault, they don't support short codes in their video lessons, at least at the time of this video. So you have to use a text lesson, paste in your short code into that text lesson, and then make sure that you put a tiny little snippet of CSS that I have in one of my videos and tutorials to get rid of that top section. The end result is it's perfectly fine. It's what I'm using for all my courses, but it does take a little bit of work and it's not right out of the box. Uh, the next feature that I thought was cool was that logged in viewers, there's a feature in Presto Player where your video um, can be restricted so the person has to have an account and be logged into your website to even view it. Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, I'll bring up right now, te not technically related, but in terms of security, the ability for people to rip off your videos, since both are using BunnyStream, it's, it's in a vacuum, it's the same, um, but that is an added layer of security you could add for both. Now, managing your videos, if you're using Presto Player, you can manage all of your videos in your WordPress site. With BunnyNet, you're restricted just to the BunnyNet interface. Presto Player lets you capture emails, so like leads, and integrate with something like Fluent CRM so that somebody has to enter their email in in order to watch the video. I thought that was really cool. Um, video analytics, Presto Player has some pretty intriguing video analytics that you can use to track how things are being watched, um, stuff like that. Uh, Bunny Stream does not. Um, custom video before and after. This is a feature that is coming very soon to Presto Player. It's the ability to run a video before and after your video, which I think is really neat. Like someone like me that has like an all access membership where someone can um, purchase uh, purchase the membership and then get access to my courses and my workshops. Um, I might want to run a little promo beforehand. And what's neat is I can combine that with a custom preset so that I can swap out that video and at any given time, I could essentially run a pre-roll and a post-roll ad on my videos with Presto Player. That's so cool. I have a feeling that's gonna really help with conversions. Now, uh, I will bring up, although I did not put it on here, uh, BunnyStream does support vast advertising, and that is probably only applicable to those of you that have like 50 to 100,000 viewers on your videos, um, but essentially um, that, Again, that would be available on both of these because Presto Player would use BunnyNet as well, um, but I wanted to bring that up as well. Uh, chapter markers, so like on YouTube, when you have right below the progress bar, or, or maybe it's above it, you have like those little little circles with like what this section of the video that you're watching is about. Uh, Presto Player can customize those and use those. That's pretty cool. Um, and then in terms of SEO schema um, and integrations with SEO plugins like Rank Math and things like that and how Google sees your videos, Presto Player makes an effort to optimize their videos in the player for SEO. Um, Bunny Stream, to my knowledge, doesn't do anything like that. Automation support um, is pretty cool. So for example, Presto Player has the ability to track progress. So if a student watches a video, it can send a notification to something like Uncanny Automator that would say, okay, if someone watches this video, what do I do? Send them an email with Fluent CRM enroll them in a learn dash course, whatever you want, right? So that is a really cool feature built into the player of Presto Player. BunnyStream does not have that. Now, the last thing I put on this table is a cost comparison. All things considered equal, BunnyStream has its pay as you use it with a $1 minimum per month and it's pennies. Presto Player requires that, again, in this comparison, we're saying that Presto Player uses BunnyStream. Um, so essentially, you're going to have to pay a fee or an extra price to get Presto Player and to be able to use Presto Player. At the time of this video, that's $299 one-time lifetime fee for 25 websites with Presto Player. I think their one-site license might be annual and it comes in around $69 or something like that. Um, but regardless, Presto Player is an additional fee. You have to decide, does Presto Player, do, do the features that I went over in this table here, do these features add up to the cost of using Presto Player for you and your business? And my verdict is this, if you just want cheap video hosting that's really fast and reliable, and you just wanna drop those videos into something like a Thrive Apprentice course, just get BunnyStream, it's awesome. If you want all the great features of BunnyStream and all those things I just said, but you want all the added features that I went over in that table, then get Presto Player. And you're gonna justify that that's worth 
at the time of the video, $299 lifetime. So that's my comparison. That's my answer to, do I need Presto Player? The answer is, it depends. Do you want all the cool features? So hopefully that was helpful in helping you make your decision. Again, these are both phenomenal tools. They're fantastic. I'm um, gonna highly recommend both of them. So that'll do it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.